Accessories not only elevates your outfit, they add value to your personality as well. In this video, I'm going to show you accessories that you can wear with your suit. Hi, this is Swapnil and you're watching The Classic Dandy. Gentlemen, wearing a suit is not a big deal, but how you wear it makes the complete difference. You can go out wearing a two-piece suit with just a blazer, a pair of trousers and a shirt is a no-brainer. But when you start exercising it, you elevate yourself among the crowd. Now gentlemen, when exercising, balance is the key. You can easily over-exercise yourself. My word of advice? I'm going to show you 10 accessories in this video. You must never wear all these 10 accessories at the same time. First of all, it is not practical. Second, you would look like a wannabe as if you're going out to please people. Now gentlemen, before we go ahead, let's look into some details. Where to buy accessories from? Well, in my personal opinion, you must buy accessories online. Although you can check online portals, as well as in stores as well. Online, you get a lot of options in accessories and you must never skimp on the quality. As I say with shoes as well, accessories can be the focal point of your complete outfit. So if you're wearing something that is really cheap or gaudy, it will show up and people will notice that about you. So make sure to go with accessories that are of good quality or at least decent and buy the best that you can afford. Now gentlemen, let's see what not to do when exercising. Well, first and foremost, never overdo it. If you're wearing suspenders, leave your belt home or vice versa. If you're wearing your socks that are colorful, make sure everything else is muted. Otherwise, you might end up looking like a clown. If you're wearing a vest, make sure to leave the tie bar alone. Now let's come to the second point and I see a lot of men doing this over and over again is to match your pocket square with your tie. Gentlemen, your pocket square should never match with your tie. I know there are a lot of packages that come together wherein you have a tie and a pocket square of the same color, same texture and fabric but it should never match. If you have bought those, not a problem, you can wear them as separates. Again. Your pocket square should never match your tie. To the max, your pocket square can have a few elements or colors from your tie. Third point, sticking to your tie again, your tie should never go beyond your waistband or it should never be shorter than that. It should end right at your waistband. Anything below that is touching your crotch, it's going to look horrible or anything that is short, you look like a schoolboy. And the next thing that you should avoid while exercising is matching your metals and leathers. Now, I know that you have watched a lot of videos on Instagram and on YouTube wherein they ask you to match your metals and your leathers. Now, let me tell you, I sort of do not agree with that philosophy completely. Why? Because when it comes to leathers, I believe that you must wear everything in the same color family. So let's say you're wearing a brown belt, you can end up wearing a tan shoe or a darker brown shade of shoes or the leather strap of your belt. Same goes for suede. If you're wearing a suede shoe, you can wear a leather belt. And when it comes to metal, gentlemen, if you're wearing a wedding band, especially a wedding band, it becomes very difficult to match your metals as well. If you're wearing a gold wedding band, you can definitely go for a silver color uh, bezel of your watch. So if you want to match your metals and your leathers, you, you should definitely do that, but you should be as close as possible rather than being all matchy matchy. Otherwise, if you have 10 pair of shoes, you will have to have at least 10 pair of belts, 10 pair of watches. So you can imagine the kind of financial stress that is going to put on you. So rather go with something that is as close as possible 
there's no problem with the blacks but when it comes to brown make sure that your tan your dark browns or your browns are in the same family and that's about it so gentlemen now let's go ahead and check out these 10 accessories one by one and let me know in comments if you like this video So gentlemen, starting off with your first accessory, the lapel pin. Now lapel pin is basically upon your taste. This is a boutonniere, this is what I choose to wear. You can wear any quirky lapel pin as you wish to. But always make sure that lapel pin is worn on the left lapel only. Traditionally, lapel pins have been worn on left. Now moving on to a pocket square. As I mentioned earlier, a pocket square should never match the color of your tie or the texture. Here, both are entirely different. Although, if you want to have a few elements of your tie in your pocket square, then you can do this. This is a floral pocket square with a hint of red, which matches the maroon of my tie. Gentlemen, third accessory is a waistcoat. Now this waistcoat is a standalone piece. This is in light heather gray color in wool. Now if you're wearing a three piece suit, your waistcoat will be of same color and texture as the rest of your suit. But here I'm wearing something of a different texture as well as color. This is a double breast waistcoat. So this is not only going to stand out, but this is going to be a statement piece for you as well. You can go for any other color like bordeaux or brown but let me tell you that your waistcoat should not be too bold it should be subtle yet it should be able to make a statement as well just like this gentlemen the next accessory is a tie and as i mentioned earlier the length of your tie the length of your tie must end at the waistband anything longer than this mid crotch or below than that is going to look absolutely ridiculous or anything that is shorter you will end up looking like a schoolboy. always keep in mind the width of your tie should not be more than the width of your lapel at the maximum of the width of your lapel should be the width of your tie as well and keep in mind the color as well this is a muted knitted tie in maroon you can start off with muted tie if you're just new into accessorizing and ties you can go for bold ties later on when you're a little mature on your sartorial journey gentlemen the next accessories are suspenders now suspenders are generally used to hold up your pants and if you're wearing suspenders you do not need to wear belts these suspenders are in grey, so it matches the colour of my suit. If you want, you can try on other colours as well. You can be a little playful with the colour of your suspenders. As these are something that are not exposed outside, it just gives a hint of colour. These are clip-on suspenders. You can try on with the buttons as well, but then for that, you'll have to have a custom-made trouser for yourself. So gentlemen, try on suspenders as well. The next accessory that I recommend is a tie bar or a tie pin. Now a tie bar or a tie pin is used to hold the tie in its place and avoid dangling. There are two cautions of advice. Gentlemen, the width of your tie bar should never pass the width of your tie. And the second point would be, if you're wearing a waistcoat, you do not have to wear a tie bar. A waistcoat is enough to keep the tie in its place and avoid dangling. The next accessory in this list and probably the most accessory out of the 10 is a good timepiece. Now here I have an Orion Bambino uh, Generation 2 which is a slim watch, a mechanical. Gentlemen, a good timepiece or a watch is an essential to any well-dressed gentleman 
and it should be thin it should be able to slide inside your cuff easily just like this this is a mechanical piece and a word of caution again avoid your eye watch or your any sports watch and leave it at home if you're wearing a suit at all costs the next accessory is a good pair of cufflinks now gentlemen cufflinks are used on french cuffs or the double cuffs as they call it these are monkey fists not uh, cufflinks these are in gold this matches the color of my wedding band as well so you can see i'm um, trying to harmonize gold with silver there's a gold cufflink there's a silver watch and a gold wedding band as well so you can see it's not all gold or all silver this is gold and silver both it harmonizes and it doesn't look bad either so make sure to wear good pair of cufflinks if you're wearing a french cuff shirt now gentlemen the next accessory is a no brainer it's a belt now belt not only holds up your pants in place it also cuts off the vertical line what i mean to say is that if you're someone who's very tall i would recommend you to wear a belt so that it gives a shorter appearance of your frame now as you can see the color of my belt doesn't really matches the color of my shoes my belt is on the lighter shade of brown but my shoes are of darker shade of brown as you can see it still harmonizes and doesn't look odd it's in the same brown family it's just that the shades are different what i'm trying to show you here is the leathers may or may not match it's absolutely fine so gentlemen last but definitely not the least accessory a pair of socks now why colorful socks if you're someone who's feeling a little adventurous if you want to make heads turn you can have a few pair of colorful socks in your wardrobe just like these these are not too loud and not too subtle as well with the background of navy blue you have pink polka dots and i would recommend to have a few pair in your closet for those adventurous days for you i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave me comments and let me know what else would you like to watch on the classic dandy and also let me know if there are any more accessories that you would like to add to this list Gentlemen the classic dandy is present on every major social networking platform so check out my socials and if you like the content follow me on Instagram Pinterest Twitter Facebook and on TikTok I release reels every Wednesday on Instagram so check that out as well The classic dandy is an endeavor to make men's fashion more accessible and practical so if you're someone who's new here if you like the content make sure to subscribe to it and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified every time i post a new video also make sure to give it a big thumbs up thank you